Hello, love. This is a timeless transmission. I trust that whenever it finds you, that there will be something here for you. May you receive clarity, confirmation, a click or connection to cosmic perspective for your highest good, for your highest timeline. May it provide encouragement, peace, and be a portal for you embodying your highest human and divine potential. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Everything you truly desire is on the other side of this current cycle ending. You have just as much to celebrate as you do to be devastated by. The choice is simply yours in which you choose. For your sake and that of your brothers and sisters, I hope it is the former. You have nothing to feel ashamed of for feeling joy, bliss, jubilation, gratitude, even ecstasy. You do not need to hide or hold back. In fact, your dance, your song, and your driving passion are needed now more than ever to raise the vibration and awaken those caught up and drowning in the illusion of despair. May they be inspired by your movement to get unstuck. May they see the freedom in your flow and join their bodies to the beat and rhythm of the drum. May you support one another in community and deepen your connection to your true self and each other, which are one. The end of a cycle is upon us. You've chosen to take that leap of faith and to follow the call of your heart and soul. What is it calling you to do? What is it calling you to create? Celebrate the hard and difficult choices you've had to make. Ending a relationship, leaving a job, reinforcing your boundaries, ending generational patterns, Celebrate the strength you've cultivated to say no more and make this change. Someone having to leave under the guise of night, guided only by the moonlight. Pain, torment, heart aching, cracking open in your chest. Tears, screams, fears. Releasing it all, letting it go. I saw you. I see you still. I heard you. I hear you still. It's time to begin again. Your consciousness is expanding. You're open to receive the new inspiration and inner standing. Step forward. Surrender to the mystery. You understand the connection to all things. All is coming. Do not look back at what was. Be here now. In this present moment, Release your mind's timeline and open yourself to the flow of your beautiful life. Allow yourself to be seen. Allow yourself to receive love and support. Allow yourself to receive the abundant resources all around you. The more you have, the more you're able to give. Do not cut yourself off from this flow because of some made up narrative your mind is trying to convince you is true. You've gained sufficient experience to take charge of your destiny. Celebrate that. Take a moment to be still. Sit in silence and tap into the deep well of wisdom within you and trust the guidance of your inner compass. You can be confident that your perceived failures and past missteps have fine-tuned your rhythm and built the strength that you needed to align to what you've always been, but did not see. You are free, you are free, you are free. And again, this message is timeless, this transmission is timeless. It will find you when you need to hear it. But the energy this week is we're still swimming and coming out of this new moon in Scorpio energy and the new moon is in the gate 44 in quantum human design it's called the gate of truth it's the archetype of truth and so you have the choice this week or whenever you're seeing this to choose to tap into your truth this gate resides in the spleen center in the body graph in in our design it's in the spleen center which is the self-actualization center 
This is your opportunity and time to realize the truth of who you are, to remember, to embody, and to live out that truth. And you can choose to express and show up authentically and express your truth and be who you are as you remember and awaken to the truth of who you are. And that can look like a myriad of different things. And you can tell if where you are on this spectrum of this archetype, if you're in the shadow or the, the lower energy, the lower expression, the unbalanced expression, you will have a fear of the past repeating itself. And therefore that will hold you back and prevent you from continuing on this new path, this new journey, and taking your next step forward into your expansion because you are fearing that things that happened in the past will happen again and it will just repeat. But I hope and pray and may you remember in those moments where fear rises up that you can't do or you can't go on or you can't move forward or you are afraid to follow your truth or speak your voice because all of the memories come floating back up to the surface of things that have happened prior. May you find the strength in that moment and have the awareness that you have the choice moving forward. You're not, you are not a victim of your life. You are co-creating your life. And all the things that have happened before are what you have cultivated and culminated into the wisdom, this deep well of wisdom that resides within you. And you can use that to empower yourself and empower others because now you know how to take pain and flip that into great purpose and great power to let it fuel you instead of defeat you, to let it propel you forward instead of letting it keep you contracted and stuck and scared. Everything's happening for you. And you can use everything that you observe, every experience that you've experienced, every situation and circumstance that you've gone through to gain and glean more and more wisdom so that you're able to see the higher perspective and the higher purpose in all of it and then help support and encourage those along your path who are going through the same thing or who will be going through the same thing. So as we're still in this new moon energy, this new beginning, this new opportunity for you to step into expansion, to leave the past behind, to let go and release and to step forward in faith and in confidence that everything that you truly desire is on the other side of this cycle that just ended. And also this week, the sun moves into the gate one, the gate of purpose, which resides in the G center, the calibration center, the identity center, this heart space, the gate of purpose, which has the voices of I am. The voice of the G of the gate one and the G is I am. I am that I am. You being the full expression of who you are is your purpose. It's not anything that you do. It's you're here to remember who you are and to be fully that divine manifested being in all of your glory. Your purpose isn't something that you do. Your purpose is who you be. It's remembering who you are and living that fully. Fully and completely, unapologetically, authentically you, the divine being, it's to love, to live, to learn, to grow, to see yourself as the divine being that you are, which in turn allows you to see others as the divine being that they are, to be the love that you are, to be the light that you are. And you can do an infinite number of things. Who you be is your purpose. What you do in your life, with your life, that's completely up to you and it can change each year 
each decade, it can look like anything. So what is your soul calling you to do? What is your soul calling you to create? Go full send into this expansion, into this next cycle, this new beginning, this fresh start, this clean canvas in your life. And you may be seeing nine nines, 999, 911, uh, 10s, 1010, or 1011. And let that be a reminder of this message as you see those numbers throughout your week or throughout the next coming weeks. And let it be a reminder for you to come back to center, to the truth, to the stillness, to the remembrance of who you truly are. Because the world needs you, the true you. So may you remember that you are loved, you are light, you are love. I know who you are in truth. I know what you are in truth. I know how you serve in truth. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are here, you are here, you are here. I am you, you are me, and we are one. <laughs>